Hello everyone from Southern Utah. We're in Moab. I'm Chris. Alex. This is Colson. Hartley. And we have just started full-time RV life. Yes, I love this trailer. I love this trailer. Trailer's full of antifreeze. We've got a crap ton of stuff to organize. We didn't have water in the tanks. And on top of that, the furnace just tried to kick on and nothing happened. So as I'm doing this, and that is not draining correctly, it's kind of uh, leading me to think that I might need some Drano. But we had a mild disaster in here. There's a water line that's leaking inside this cabinet, inside the other cabinet. So we are currently drying out the trailer. Uh, I'm gonna go turn the water back on and try and figure out where this leak is because um, that's obviously problematic. Big recommendation if you're gonna go camping and not have the thing set and ready to go, make sure you go to a campground that has good electrical power so that you and water so that you can heat via your fireplace. If your furnace doesn't work, which is a small issue, I think I know what the issue is there. And uh, you yeah, have shower and water because yeah, we're all sorts of messed up right now. Yeah, that's why some place with power is really important because we can get the boys. The place is a total mess. We just loaded everything in here because it was, what, one degree in Montana? We didn't feel like organizing it there, so we're doing yeah. it now. You can kind of see some of that back here. It's a disaster in here. And so I just had to, you know, microwave the boys' dinner because we got here at six, so it's kind of rush, rush, rush to get everything done before bedtime. Yeah. And yet the trailer's falling apart. Yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll fill you in later. Back to fixing stuff. Okay, so I think the leak is coming from somewhere down there. Okay, turn the water on. Okay, Alex, just turn the water on. I don't see anything dripping profusely. Wait, yeah, are you turning the fan on? Did you sleep well last night, Hartley? Uh -huh. Do you like life in the trailer so far? Uh-huh. Are you going to play outside a lot today? Uh-huh. What's your brother doing? What did I do? Okay, can you spray the wheels? Good job. Okay, can you turn the water off, Hartley? Whoop, oh, that's on, that's on! Turn it off, turn the other way, turn the other way! Keep going, keep going, turn the other way! Good job! Hello! Hi boys, our first camp meal. Wow. Last night. Last night. Ah! <laughs> Do not fall off the picnic table. <laughs> that would be bad. Well, welcome to Arches National Park. That is our first stop, first national park that we're hitting down here. So far, it's really pretty. Uh, doing a short little hike with the boys. Hey, Hartley. Do you have really good timing? Uh -huh. You do? because we were like more than halfway up the trail. Okay. And what do, you, what do you have to do? Go back. You have to go potty? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that means that we have to go all the way back down to the car to, um, to go pee? Uh, okay, and then dad has to carry you all the way back up. Kind of like, see that arch behind us? Yeah, we were pretty much up there and someone's like, I have to pee. Great kid, so run to the bathroom. Okay, who's getting the better deal here? Camera bag and the heavy kid, no backpack. Okay, Harley, you wanna go up there? Do you wanna climb up there? Okay, I'll follow you this time. Yeah, buddy. 
Okay, do you see there's a really big drop right there? You wanna go back towards mom? Hi, little buddy. Okay. Give me a hand. Pass off. Put your foot down. Be careful, bud. Can you go hand it to mama? Thanks, bud. My analogy needed a couple scratches. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you gonna jump off? Let's see the big jump. We stopped at, I think it's Skyline Arch. Really not crowded at all. No, it's really lovely here. I actually, so far, would highly recommend this. You can't climb up to the arch because, well, it looks kind of like this. It is a really fun little area. The kids are having an absolute blast. They've been climbing all over everything. Whoa! Whoa. That was the chunk of sand. Throwing <laughs> chunks of sand, yeah, can I help you? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> You're interrupting <coughs> us. <laughs> Whoa. <coughs> We're wasting time. <coughs> I think it is the uh, end of our adventure today. Someone over here is getting a little cranky. So I think uh, back to the car and back to the trailer. Arches so far has been really cool. Cannot complain at all about it. We gotta go so that we can get whiny pants McGoo in the car. We'll talk at you guys soon. What's up guys? So it's a full moon out. Hopefully you can hear me. I'm talking this off because it's uh, 4.30 in the morning and I don't want to wake Alex or the kids up, but I'm headed up into the park to go sit, to take some pictures of the moon. So it took a little bit to get up here. I'm pretty sure I can get down. My camera bag is down there. The ground is down there. The sun is rising. Here's what I'm shooting, uh, the moon coming down through this arch, so hopefully it works. So here's my setup for one of the shots. <laughs> I was a little annoyed at myself earlier because from down lower, you couldn't see anything. And once daylight showed up, I was able to get up a little higher. And uh, so far so good, we'll see how it turns out. Okay, this is probably one of the coolest things that I have seen so far. There goes my man. She's uh, disappearing behind some clouds. And uh, I just have to figure out how to get myself back down there. So, that'll be fun. Okay, well, here comes the fun part. That bit's a little bit steeper. Still working my way back down there. Dang, is it pretty. Okay, so I have to admit, I was a little frustrated with myself when I got up here in the dark and I was down here on this low spot because the moon was gonna come right through here. And I honestly, when I didn't think that I was gonna be able to get up that, because I didn't have any light. And then as the day broke, this was actually pretty easy and I was also up here going, crap I can't see to get down because my stupid headlamp stopped working so I definitely had some moments of like crap why am I up here I also had a minor uh, my tripod was short but I set it down and it 
bunk, right down under the lens. Um, glass is fine, but it's got a little focus issue. I'm not exactly sure what. So that is definitely kind of frustrating, but I'm pretty sure the shots that I got on it here are, I'm really, really hoping that they turn out cool. And if they do, this is what they look like. Well, I think it's like 7.30 in the morning and uh, I'm headed back down and go back to the car, drive back to camp, go pick Alex and the boys up and we're gonna go to Canyonlands. It should be a fun day and uh, hopefully some more fun pictures. All right, so we are here in Canyonlands, Candylands, Canyonlands today. Where are we? I oh, know. Hmm. We're in a parking lot, so uh, let's get onto the trail. Hi, David. I think we have to potty. Harley, do you have to go potty? No. Are you sure? No. That's what I thought. Do you have to go pee? No. For some reason, I don't believe him. Beautiful. It always makes me nervous when there's like huge cliffs and children. <laughs> Favorite thing. Hartley, did you hear that? <laughs> you you make mom nervous with huge cliffs. You gotta hold dad's hand. I never believe it. Oh, she means it. She means it. I never it. You don't believe it? Mm-hmm. What is it? Really pretty, huh? No, I'm not ready. What are you doing? I'm making your body. Ah, ah, ah. You need to go potty. You have to go potty. Okay, you. We couldn't have done this five, five minutes ago. <laughs> You're ridiculous, kiddo over this way. I think your mom's right up around the corner. Look who we found. No. Can I get a high five? No. No fighting on the rock. Colson, don't push. Really? Really? So did we make it out of there alive? We did. We are on our way up to Mesa Arch in Canyonlands. So far, the driving aspect of Canyonlands has been pretty lackluster. The scenery, once you start walking, has been outstanding. Whoa! It's like you've never seen snow before. We just left a place with like three feet. Is that your snowball you're taking to the trail? Hartley is trying to save a snowball in his pocket. So the hike to Mesa Arch is not that long. Oh, I really have a bad itch on my back. Down, left. Uh. Hey buddy, we'll get another snowball when we go back that way by it. We, we lost our snowball. Pretty sure that's typical little brother or little sibling syndrome. Yeah. I'm gonna fall off that rock. Zoom! Race, race, race! It's really pretty, but it is. We did! We made it here! It is a lot smaller than I was expecting. Yeah. <clears throat> One, two, three. Is that, is that 
Hey Hartley, where'd we go today? I know. Was it Canyonlands? No. Was it someplace to jump on rocks? No. You're heavy. I'm not heavy. You're not heavy, are you sure about that? No. Have you carried yourself recently? Uh huh. You have? Colson, what'd you do this morning? So Alex, do you want to uh, fill in everyone on what Colson did this morning? So, Colson <laughs> last night had really, really bad <sighs> diarrhea. And so I got him out of his crib this morning. It was everywhere, all down his leg, up his back. So I had to clean him up, and of course I got all my hands. But Chris had left, and had left all of our water lines with bleach water in them. So the reason they're with bleach water, because we were sanitizing our lines. Yeah, we were sanitizing our lines so that, hey, hey, I'm trying to talk here. Hartley, I'm trying to have a conversation with the camera and you're making it really hard. So anyways, I needed desperately to wash my hands. Sunglasses down and to give Colson a, a wash down. And it didn't happen because there was just bleach water everywhere. Um, but in the end, it worked out. We got clean. Hey, let go of my face. Let go of my face. Let go of my face. Regretting not having a carrier. I kind of wish I had a backpack, yes. Not gonna lie. Ow, that, come on. So we are off on our sunset mission hike. We're at the Grand Overlook, I think. Great Overlook. Anyways, it's really pretty. Uh, we've gotten some cloud cover coming in. The weather's supposed to turn south tomorrow, um, which is actually really good. So today's either gonna be hit or miss. We'll either be able to see the sunset and it'll be beautiful, or we won't be able to see anything because clouds. You're walking backwards, silly. Good job. That could give someone some vertigo. So I keep doing like little shots and pans of this valley because it's like, oh, that's so pretty. And then it's just like, oh, that's so pretty. I, it's like every time you turn around, it's just like uh, beautiful. I really kind of think it would be fun. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's the Jeep trail down over this way. And apparently it's like a hundred mile trail that runs through this entire valley. Uh, not sure what the... I think the view from up here is probably better, frankly, but um, yeah, I mean, just stunning. Okay. What are you doing to my face? <laughs> ah. nice. Okay, let's keep going on hike. Ow! <laughs> this kid is going to sleep tonight. So here's our little trail snack break right in the middle of the trail. Oh yeah, it is dinner actually. <laughs> So the ravens have totally discovered us. They are totally zeroing, zeroing in on that snack break nest right there. So do you remember those ravens that I showed you earlier? 
we just had this realization that we were walking away from our backpack to go try and take a picture. And we saw some ravens flying up overhead and we're like, oh, crap, they're gonna get into the backpack. So I'm running back to grab the backpack because even though we put the food away, I don't trust them at all. Yeah, that guy right there. He's waiting for it. Harley, what you doing? Well, play bus. Play bus. Bubble, I heard that, Colson. Gosh, look at the moon coming up. Come here, I'll show you, come here. Whoa. You see that moon? Uh -huh. It's huge. It didn't mean that soon. I did that, that's a better. Oh my gosh, that moon is so cool. What color is it? White. White? It looks orange right now. No, it was white. That is a super big moon. It's a teeny tiny moon. It's a teeny tiny moon? I think it's a super big moon. We're going home. Okay, let's go home. I find what? You're gonna find Chris? Mm -hmm. And or dad? Mm -hmm. Okay, well he's gonna meet us at the car. Hey boys, did you have a fun day? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's so bright. Okay, Daddy, let's change That it. one deserves a gold star. I love you, honey. Did you see that moon? Oh, dude, the moon oh, is so outstanding. Harley, are you going to drive us home? Okay. Oh, that's an interesting way of driving. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to see the road that way, buddy.